Arsenal. Let's talk about the women's game. But before we do that, we'll have to watch the, the game between the FC Robo and Bayesa FC that ended 1 0 in Lagos last week, Wednesday. And today, more midweek games will be coming your way. We'll enjoy that match. And after that, uh, Rotimi Akidele will be joining us. We'll be talking LMC and, of course, the sanction on Canapillas, Ramostars, and Katsina United. <laughs> Okay, that's the game last weekend. We have more midweek games coming today. And, of course, the big one is Rivers Angels and FC Robo. Rosemi Akindele joins us now on the segment. He's a sports correspondent with BTFM. Good morning, Rosemi. Good to have you. Good morning, guys. Good, Good to be morning. here. How are yeah. you doing? Very well. Okay. Now, a little bit about the women's <laughs> game before we talk about the sanction from LMC. Yes. Rivers, you've been following the women's game, you know, for a yeah. long time. Yeah. In Cameroon and everywhere. But then, <laughs> the Rivers Angels game and FC Robo, that's what everyone will be looking forward to. FC Robo beating Bias the Queens. I mean, with all the superstar and all that, like to Jonathan Laba and all, and we're able to get something out of it. That's huge. I think it's a big test for FC Robo. Yeah, yes, the legal side. And then... Um, because remember the history uh, from Matisse Adoshala and all that, you know, yes. with um, FC Robo, she used to be there. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure they, they want to, you know, leave a mark at the end of the season that or probably just qualify for the uh, Super it's Four cool. final and then get something. But um, I, th I think it's going to be a tough one going okay. to Rivers. Rivers Angels, we know them. They are like uh, perennial Federation Cup um, champions. They just like to the win it. And then they have and that have experience. All the national teams and all that. <laughs> they have almost all the players in the national team that plays domestically, you know, in, in that particular team. And then they still have that coach um, in the mix as well, Edwin O'Conn, I think. So yeah. it's going to be a tough one for FC Robo, but they can actually, you know, ride on the win over by Osa Queens going into PH. Mm. And then try to get something. Yeah, yeah, all the way. That's, that's uh, they could they could get that's a draw. Tough. We've seen some interesting results already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look at other fixtures from uh, the Nigerian Women's League in Group A. Of course, we talked about the Rivers Angels and FC Robo. Is that and the star thing, match? And the thing is, that's the star game that's because star and game. the thing is, Rivers Angels. We talked about the fact that most of their players who left, yeah, you know, came back. back and all that came back. And not only that, the highest goal scorer from Bayelsa 
from Bicycle Queens, right? Uh, is actually in FC Robona, uh, Rafia Sule, and some other big stars. You have a Bicycle Queens, they're playing at home now in Nembe, so they will definitely want to beat Abia Angels. Abia Angels being coached by Anche Jena. Heartland Queens and Sunshine Queens will also be in action. Uh, in Group B, you have other fixtures coming. Nassau Amazons and Edo Queens, Confluence Queens and Oshun Babes, Delta Queens and Sadatu Amazons and Adamawa Queens and also Pelican Stars. The fixtures for today coming from Nigerian Women's Football League Week 3. We're on a break now. We'll come back and we'll talk about the LMC and what they've done to Canopillas and Yama Stars.